guys I'm going to teach you how to make a custom thumbnail today and how to convert a FLV file to an mp4 file so basically if you're recording with OBS this might happen um, it depends on what you're using it might happen so first of all you gonna need two things for at least changing the FLV to a mp4 and one of those things are FLV extract I'm going to do it all with you guys, and then I'll give you guys the links in the description below. So basically, you drop this in here. It's going to basically scan that whole thing and create you separate things over on the side over here. Sorry about my dog barking. But basically, you don't need the like text pad or whatever you want to call it, the notepad. You can get rid of that. And then these two things right here are what you need to convert it into a um, mp4 and yeah so it's cool and there we go it's done it takes a little bit but it's nothing too much so you can just throw away the notepad and yeah and then you can throw away the original one if you really wanted and then right here you want to open up your yam and you want to click mp4 uh, file with uh, multiple audio video subtitles and whatever and you're gonna grab these two things and drop it in. Then you're gonna hit next. And what this is doing is it's converting those things into an MP4 file. You might say that this is already one, but you want both of them. One of them carries the audio and the other one carries the video. And yeah, so basically we're gonna wait until this is done. And yeah. Okay, come on. And... Done. Okay. It should be done. Okay, never mind. Um... It doesn't usually take that long. It just lies. And it's all dependent about your, like, size of the video, how long it is. And usually you want to, like, cut it down and then whatever you're going to do. And then you can upload it to YouTube and you're done. You can make a video. And later on I'll be showing you in a different video that how you can make your own intro you can buy them you can honestly make them for free I have a good free one and then boom we're done so you can throw these two things away now you don't need anything but one file so basically now this is everything we need I'm not gonna show you guys anymore but this is some footage that's gonna be coming out soon and it's basically one of the gameplays with my friends, and we end up winning, so that's all I'm gonna say. Okay. Second of all, GIMP. This is for your custom thumbnails. So, since I was playing Akali last match in League of Legends, which is a good game, so we're gonna search up Blood, oh, Blood, Moon, Oh, no, a collie. Um, and then basically, enter images. You want to grab any image, and you can do anything you want with this. GIMP is just like Photoshop, which is really good. And you can do basically almost everything with it that you could do on uh, Photoshop. So, basically... When I save this image, I uh, will save it to my desktop and just make sure it's on my desktop. Okay, come on. Okay, I'm almost sure it's on my desktop. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, drop that here. Open this. So you're going to drag your photo in there. And I have some cool things that you can do with this. And I like it a lot, honestly. It looks pretty dope. So. But first, you want to open up your layers thing if you don't have it up. This is a very important part, and you just hit Control L, and it opens up that. 
throw this over to the side here. And there's not too much with it. Um, you kind of just do this. You make your text. It's going to pop up with a box like that. And you're going to write um, Blood Moon Akali Strikes Again. Okay. And then you want to hit Use Selected Font. And then... I like this one, impact, and then we can increase the size to whatever we want. I recommend like around 60, 60, 50, around there. Um, I'm going to probably lower that. Okay, so then we can kind of just move this. It will keep popping up with this, it's just a little bit annoying. And then, that's going to be the background. We want to duplicate uh, this layer. And we're going to make it kind of look like 3D-ish. But, not always. You want to, like, lower it. Uh, not that small. But you want to have, like, maybe that will work. Let me try that. Um, red. And see how that has, like, a back... To it so it looks kind of like 3D. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good right there. So, you can see how that is going, and then we click on this, and then click on this, and we got that done. Now, you can add other things into it. You can make it look better if you really wanted to. Um, right now, I will add, let's see. What you could do is click your background, and you can, what could we do? If you wanted to, like, focus on, like, the text, you'd probably want it to do, where is it, where is it, blur. So, there's many kinds of blur. I haven't tried all of them. I've only used this kind. And then you could blur out the back. See, that looks nicer. I'd probably lower this a little bit. So... Oh, crap. Okay. So, we'll probably move this down a little bit. Move it down. So, right about there. And we want to find this one. Where are you, sir? Where are you? This one? Okay, sweet. And move it down. And... Should be good. Yes! Perfect, right there. And now, what it's going to do is basically, it's going to focus on more of the text than the picture in the background, which is nicer. And yeah, I will leave the link to these programs in the description, and like and subscribe for more content. I also play League and other games, just I haven't uploaded many other games than League right now, because I'm just starting off, but if you guys want... League of Legends content, subscribe to my channel, and I'm out guys, see you later.